So did they, did they explain to you guys what we're going to do at all? Or no, not? Bro, yeah. Yeah. So, we're just, so essentially we're just going to toss it to each other. It's kind of an interesting space, but I think it should make for some cooler tosses, maybe. Oh, no, it's fine. Alright, um, so first question, this, this will be like a practice question. Uh, since today is National Donut Day, what is your favorite type of donut? My favorite type of donut is from Voodoo. It's the uh, the bacon uh, maple one. Remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good shit. Just toss it back. So what? I just say question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm donut? Like, still my favorite donut. My favorite donut is also from Voodoo Donuts, wow. and it's uh, the Oreo cream one. Oh, I'm not that picky. It's like anything cream filled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. All right, so next question. Um, so you guys' fans were nominated for the most dedicated at the APMAs. What's the most dedicated thing you've seen your fans do? I have fans that have I Love Caddy t-shirts. That's probably, good. and they're actually printed on it. They just didn't, like, draw them on with any, like, take from Walmart. They're actually printed in there. So um, first one to miss, first one not to catch. Dave just, no. Dave just had his hands up, so I, just, I figured I'd go in there. Um, yeah, most dedicated fans. There's this one girl in Britain that has my signature tattooed on her wrist. No way. That's yeah, awesome. I believe. Yeah, it's insane. That's so cool. So. Mine is, uh, I think, when someone got my handwriting with my favorite lyrics tattooed on them. That was really cool. Yeah, I wrote out some lyrics of ours. They got it. They got yeah, it really so cool. cool. So, yeah. Is your handwriting? Cool. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. So. It, is, it is pretty dedicated. Um, okay, so next question. So you guys, is t the albums you guys have just put out, they're concept albums. What is your all-time favorite concept album? Besides your guys' own. We just talked about this. Um, really? We just talked about this. Mine has to be Operation Mindcrime by Queen Drake. It's an old band, but that album was done so fucking well, and they play it live, and it's incredible. Like, yeah, we, I, I honestly personally kind of took inspiration from that when we were doing our fucking last two records. So, it was cool. Nice. That's uh, definitely 2112 by Rush. That's some of the greatest drumming and musicianship all around all right. uh, Concept records, um, I was like 14 when the Black Parade came out, so that's like the most impactful record. That one's pretty good. I mean, that one's obviously like the biggest for us, but I almost kind of like forgot about that one. Um, the Queensryche one, we did this with Periphery, and they mentioned that album as well. They were really, really stoked on that. Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. Um, surprise, surprise. <laughs> so next question. Uh, let's see, let me think of a good one here. Oh, okay. We want to know who's the best and worst dancer in Crown Me a Fire. Uh, like, we don't have to do I'm obviously the best dancer because I have the best rhythm because I'm the driver. <laughs> Next. <laughs> He's actually wrong. He actually has the worst moves, but I don't know who the best is. It's hard to say. Dude, I mean, you're pretty good. I dance awesome my ass dancer. off, but I don't consider myself a good dancer. Yeah. I go hard, though. Yeah. Sure. I don't think any of us are good dancers. We <laughs> yeah. just think we're good dancers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> when you're drunk enough, anybody's good at dancing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last question. Uh, since the blog about for is the noise, what's the noisiest thing you've ever experienced? Yeah. Uh, we all have custom molded in ear monitors, and something happened with something wasn't plugged in the whole way or something was turned up way too loud we all just got this shot to our ears that blew all the sub bass and all our inner drivers and everything it and was, our eardrums yeah it was terrible <laughs> it was Dave. Uh, was it that you kind of stole mine I don't remember um, that had to be everybody's I don't know I think it was when I accidentally shot a gun in my house that was probably fucking the scariest thing that's ever happened <laughs> little kid don't tell my parents by the way uh, <laughs> yeah they weren't home and it accidentally went off and it scared the shit out of me it was what kind of what kind of gun was it it was like a, a handgun my dad had accidentally cocked it and put a bullet in the chamber oh and i God. took the clip out thinking it was fine oh. and i was just like yeah just bah! And fire off. Yeah. <laughs> it was so bad gun safety gun safety <laughs> be careful kids uh, loudest thing uh, well this happens all the time on tour our front house guy will mute something, and then we'll be like, there'll be some feedback, or like one of us is playing like too loud, and then he'll unmute it, and it'll be way too loud, and everyone's just like, ah! Yeah. So those are their minds. So. That's all. Okay.
Okay. So last thing, did one of you guys want to give a shout out to your fans real quick? Yeah. Runaways, what up? Vote for <laughs> us, you guys. But, uh, you're, vote for yourselves, actually, for the AP Award. That one's yeah, for you guys. Yeah, dedicated fans and ours of the year for us. Yep, keep an eye on us. We got a lot of cool shit coming up. Okay, and a yes or no question. Was this interview dope? <laughs> Hell yeah, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs>